in terms of legalization of drugs, I think that the, the battle, uh, the war on drugs has been an utter failure. Uh, and I think that we need to rethink and decriminalize uh, our, uh, our marijuana laws. But I'm not somebody, uh, but I'm not somebody who believes in uh, legalization of marijuana. What I do believe is, is that we need to rethink how we are operating uh, in, in the drug wars. And I think that uh, currently uh, we are not doing a good job. Hello and welcome. Hopefully you've come here today to learn a few more things about the drug war and its relationship to marijuana. If you've done any research so far, you probably found out the government isn't telling you the whole side of the story. Every year, the government spends billions of dollars to combat the threat of the marijuana user. Clearly, for the government to be able to justify the expenditure to the taxpayer over an herb, it must be one of the most dangerous things on the planet, correct? It must kill people, ruin lives, be extremely addictive, and have no medical value. That's what the government lists marijuana as, as a Schedule One narcotic. Marijuana could well turn out to be the most dangerous drug that is in use in our country today. Um, sorry sir, but I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with that statement. Marijuana is not that dangerous. For one, it doesn't kill brain cells. Now I know your study where you put monkeys in gas chambers and just pumped pot into there at an incredible level, almost a thousand Colombian strength joints over three months. You suffocated those monkeys, that's why their brain cells die. Further studies suggest no brain cell damage. I repeat. Marijuana does not kill your brain cells. In fact, it might actually stimulate brain cell growth. And its brother, hemp, is one of the best foods you can eat in terms of brain health. But more on that later. Right now I want to talk about the marijuana. Another thing that strikes odd about marijuana that you might not think is true is that it doesn't cause lung cancer. It doesn't cause emphysema. It doesn't cause a number of respiratory illnesses that are caused by tobacco every year tobacco kills almost 450,000 people and tobacco can kill brain cells too as illustrated in this video every cigarette is doing you damage smoking creates blood clots which can cause strokes some strokes kill blind or paralyzed others you don't even know you're having this is the result of a minor stroke in a smoker aged 38. Every cigarette is doing you damage. Now one of the main things to consider here is that marijuana, uh, while taken in the form of smoking, is not good for you. You're inhaling burning plant matter. However, the materials in that matter compared to tobacco allow for significantly different results because tobacco does lead to lung cancer tobacco does lead to emphysema and tobacco is what scientists call the most addictive drug it's rated the number one most addictive drug on the face of the earth and by addictive we mean the ability to come off the drug even after long term periods of heavy use to stop the drug um, and depending on the uh, severity of the side effects for someone that's coming off that drug that's how we determine how addictive something is you can use marijuana every day for one year and if you stop you're definitely going to notice a change in the environment but it's not going to be like coming off of say alcohol if you come off of alcohol too fast being an alcoholic you can die you can't stop alcohol cold turkey most of the time you have to come off of it in a very slow uh, medicated manner um, so this argument that it is addictive and that's why it should be illegal or it causes lung cancer and I mean they're just not true and I think when it comes to a point where you're faced with the facts uh, you have to remember that 
based on the facts, people are sitting in jail right now for possessing a plant, plant matter. Um, and they are in jail because they are supposedly possessing an extremely dangerous substance. This law needs to be changed. about which questions we're going to be asked. And I think 3 million people voted, or 3.5 million people voted. I have to say that there, there was one question that was voted on that, that ranked fairly high, uh, and that was whether legalizing marijuana would improve uh, the economy and job creation. And uh, uh, I don't know what this says about the online audience, but... <laughs> But I, I just want, uh, I don't want people to think that uh, this was a fairly popular question. We want to make sure that it was answered. Uh, the answer is no, I don't think that is a good strategy to grow our economy. So, all right. Okay. Thank you for, uh, hey, for clearing that. Somebody's asking how long will prejudice blind the visions of men? I come to say to you this afternoon, however difficult the moment, yes, sir. however frustrating the hour, it will not be long no, because truth crushed earth will rise again. Yes, sir. How long, not long, yes, sir. because no lie can live forever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How long? Not long. How long? Yes, because you shall reap what you sow. Yes, sir. How long?